89.7 FM, WLNZ, Lansing Public Radio. And that was David Sorotkin. Good morning, David. We were just listening to you. Thank you. Yeah, that that was me. Tell us a little bit about the song we just heard. It's a song called Free Line. It's a song about finding the potential for a great life right now, not waiting for another moment to try and live the life you really want to live. Now, and you wrote that song, correct? I did. Do you have you written all the songs on your CD? I did. Yeah, they're all they're all originals from one depth of my brain or soul or somewhere. <laughs> how how cool is that to be able to put that down on paper? Did you start out writing poetry when you were younger and then it no, just the sort of generated? No, the interesting thing it's always been a musical process for me. Some people are more sort of poets and they put their poetry to music. Me, it's always I come up with something musical and then eventually a melody line comes out and then words will start to take in. So it's almost like the words grow out of the music for me. Uh-huh. I, I don't. If I was to take a poem and try to write music to it, I don't know where I would start. I wouldn't know really? what to do. Really, it's always interesting for me to see everybody's process. It is so different. It really is. Now, yeah. currently, you live in San Francisco and you're playing a lot of gigs out there, that I kind do. of thing. But you have come back home for a weekend to grace us with your presence and talent. You're going to be playing this weekend over at Magdalena's Tea House. Saturday evening, eight o'clock. Very good. What kinds of things are we going to hear? Oh, I, amazing things. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'll be playing songs for my CD as well as a few new songs, okay. uh, which I've been writing. I'm always excited to play new songs because, um, you know, I play, I play a lot of the same songs over and over, but I'm used to playing for people who've never heard me before. You're always playing for a new crowd and, you know, it's always sort of introducing the same songs to new people. For people that aren't familiar with your style, David, talk to us a little bit about it. Well, I play guitar and piano and sing. It's sort of a... Some people call what I do folky pop. Some people call it rocky folk. Some people call it folky rock. So I say it's somewhere between folky, rocky, pop. All right. Okay. (laughs) People say somewhere between Paul Simon and Phil Collins, maybe. Ah, all right. That gives us a clearer vision of what this is about. So you're sort of a one-man band. At this point, yeah. Okay. Um, I had some great people play on the CD with me. And back in California, I have a cellist who plays with me which is a really fun combination. Yes, it would be. It would be. So you're going to do a little piano playing, a little guitar playing this weekend. How mm-hmm. many songs are you going to be singing over at Magdalena's? Well, it's a three-hour show, and there's another guy playing. Um, I, I don't know his name. I, we're both booked on the same bill. Okay. But uh, 8 till 11, and so we can divide that by, you know, I guess 90 minutes each. All right. Now, the new songs that we're going to hear from you, I, most of your songs really go deep inside, and you touch on several different emotions, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. Is that what we're going to hear from some of your new stuff, or what? what is it? What's it like? In some of my new songs, I tap deep down into other people's souls and come out with our emotions. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know if that's legal, but uh, <laughs> but it's a technique I learned. And <laughs> Well, <laughs> give, us, give us a sneak preview. Explain one of your, one of your new songs to us. Well, I've got a new song I'm working on called Gotta Get Away, um, which is also similar to Freeline, a call to getting out of a rut and, 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 and maximizing our life and finding what we want to do and think of how it goes. Sometimes I feel like I'm going round, same old circles and the same old ground, but I know that I am working right, and that's okay. Yeah, it goes on like that. Oh, I like it. Thank you. Good. How can you be so young and yet your music is so deep? What what well, thank life? Thank you. Ex- that's, that's a compliment. But you're, you're I, welcome. I'm told I show my age well. I'm I'm in my sixties. <laughs> um, sure, David. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just comes through me in the same way that when I open my mouth, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. In oh. the same way, when I start playing the guitar. Stuff just starts coming through. It's pretty amazing because I've listened to your CD several times. It's it's a great CD, and the songs are very very deep. And you would expect something like that from somebody so much older with just a whole lot of different life experiences. Well, thank you. You know, I've I've often felt some people say I'm an old soul. That must be yeah. it. The the pro and I moved out to California actually for graduate school a few years ago in something entirely unmusical related. I got a master's in consciousness studies. I didn't know there was such a thing. I didn't either until I started (laughs) looking into that type of thing. And you know, it involves philosophy and psychology and world religions and spiritual traditions and science all sort of blended together. Um, I was the youngest person in the program there. I mean, I don't know where the interest came from, but I was was the baby. Now, did taking courses like that actually help in your songwriting? 
Oh, definitely. From, from a very uh, transformative place, certainly. Uh, although when people ask me what my degree was, and I usually say it's not connected to music because, you know, directly you don't take a consciousness studies degree and then play your guitar. <laughs> right. What things inspire you, David? Beauty really inspires me. Things that really, you know, help us melt through the sort of malaise that many of us carry or, or the, the facade of just sort of the boring everyday life that really touches us and reminds us what's important in life. Now, when you're writing your music, do you have to be in a certain place? Do you need to be by the water and the mountains and your room? It can strike anywhere. Anywhere. You know, I, if I pick up my guitar and something comes up, I have to be within reach of a recording device so I cannot forget my idea. Uh huh. And many people will call their home answering machine. That's what I do. <laughs> I have multiple messages on my machine right now with, with song ideas. That's a terrific idea. I never thought about that. Oh, definitely. When you're desperate, you know if you don't write it down, <laughs> it's going to be gone. It will be gone. I mean, it's, true. it's true whether it's comedy or music or whatever an idea strikes, you have to write it down. So what's some good advice for some budding singer-songwriters out there? Because you're actually, you're moving ahead. You're living the dream. How can other people start to get on that path? Well, I always say pursue your dream, you know, follow your passion. What um, what else is there to do here? I mean, we're really not here that long uh, that long a time, Dana. You know, it's like blink of an eye, oh, now I'm 80. Oh, you know? you're right. You, you, when, you, when you come to the end of your life, you don't want to look back and, and say, wow, I'm so glad I put in those extra hours at work. You know, I made an extra 10 bucks or 12 bucks or $13. <laughs> right, right. It's, it's more, and I think there's a great line by Plotinus. He says, don't die with your music still inside you. Ah. And I think it's a very inspirational line. Very inspirational. And again, if people want to hear your inspiration, you'll be at Magdalena's Tea House on Saturday. What time is it again, it's David? It's 8 o'clock, and Magdalena's is at 2006 East Michigan Avenue. All right. And you could check out davidsorotkin.com for all the latest and interesting updates on me. Excellent. <laughs> David, thanks for stopping in today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Dana. You're welcome. Good luck on Saturday and good luck going back to San Francisco. And please come back again. I would love to come back. All right. Thank Sounds you. good. Thank you. David Saratkin, musician here. And uh, you're listening to The Coffee Break at 89.7 FM, WLNZ, Lansing Public Radio.